Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy and thank you for tuning in. This video is really just for fun, to share some new research that I found interesting and to present avenues by which you may apply it. Something that I've done many times before. You could even file this video under my old popular Best Vegan Bodybuilding Food series that I had started in 2015 but have put on hiatus since 2016, though I don't consider this to be an official entry. For a few years now, a plant compound called Luxogenin has made a place for itself in the supplement industry. It arrived with a lot of bold promises such as enhancing protein synthesis by 200% and reducing protein breakdown. Hell, it has even been compared to the anabolic steroid Oxandrolone. But the supplement industry bullshits more than CNN, so their marketing claims should be taken with a grain of salt at best. Up until now, all of the research supporting Lysogenin for performance enhancement has been exclusively rodent model. And as such, uh, given its historically high price tag, going for sometimes as much as $60 per bottle, I just ignored it in general. Now, fast forward a bit, a Dutchman by the name of Jan de Heijs has conducted a double-blind placebo-controlled study uh, with experienced strength athletes um, who were uh, given one of three things. 24 milligram uh, capsule of loxogenin, uh, 22 milligrams per capsule of 5-alpha-hydroxyloxogenin, or capsules containing a placebo. And each participant received two capsules each day for four weeks, of whichever they were assigned. What the researcher found was that strength increased in all three groups, but the subjects who had taken 5-alpha-hydroxyloxogenin performed better than the other two groups. The 5-alpha-hydroxyloxogenin group gained about 3% more strength than the loxogenin group, and a little over 4% more strength than the placebo group. The 5-alpha-hydroxyloxogenin group also gained a little over 2% more upper arm size than the loxogenin group. As you can see, the results demonstrate more size and strength benefit from 5-alpha-hydroxyloxogenin, albeit it wasn't a huge amount. For instance, a 2% increase in upper arm size would mean adding one-third of an inch if your arms were already 15 inches to begin with. Uh, but you do need to put those results into perspective. They occurred in just four weeks' time in experienced lifters. Uh, for non-drug users, a gain of one-third of an inch to one's upper arms in a matter of four weeks would be arguably noteworthy. But do you really need to supplement loxogenin or can you get it from food? Luxogenin is a member of a group of plant steroids known as brassinosteroids, and brassinosteroids are typically found in brassica vegetables such as broccoli, cauliflower, brussels sprouts, cabbage, turnips, turnip greens, collards, kale, bok choy, but also in tomatoes, rice, tea, cucumbers, strawberries, and various mustard plants. So if you'd like to obtain luxogenin via whole food sources, it wouldn't hurt to include some or all of those foods in your diet. Just keep in mind, rapeseed, for instance, only contains 10 milligrams of brassinosteroids per 230 kilograms of its pollen, which means it doesn't yield a hell of a lot. And pollen, along with seeds, roots, and flowers, apparently contain the lion's share of these plant steroids. So, you'd likely need to consume a lot of brassica vegetables just to hit the study dose. And I mean, a hell of a lot. Also keep in mind, loxogenin is but one of the brassinosteroid family, so how much loxogenin uh, you'd be getting specifically in, say, a cup of broccoli, I am uncertain. And this is where supplementing might prove beneficial, as supplements can provide isolated compounds in higher dosages. Uh, that is, if you desire to experiment with lysogenin, given the data that I presented in this video. And I emphasize experiment because the human data is still new. More quality human research is needed before we can really start drawing conclusions. I also do not know if there are any adverse side effects in humans from isolated doses of luxogenin, uh, nor what size uh, of dose might produce uh, such side effects, despite none being witnessed in rodents. Uh, as I said, the human research is still new. 
Keeping all of that in mind, if you'd still like to give Luxogenin a go in supplement form, you will find an Amazon link to a product in the video description below. I've selected that specific product because it contains the 5-alpha-hydroxy form of Luxogenin, it is vegan friendly, and it is dosed at nearly 1.5 times higher than the amount used in that study. Uh, for the latter reason, a uh, one bottle would last you two months as you'd only need one capsule per day. In fact, I've already picked up a bottle myself to give a try. It was only 25 bucks, so I figured, what the hell. I also feel that it's important to note that I'm in no way affiliated with or sponsored by that brand, nor am I claiming that you will actually receive any uh, noticeable benefits. Uh, so don't spend the money unless you have the finances allowing you to experiment. I'd rather people buy food before spending their money on non-essential supplements, especially if money is tight for you. And I shouldn't even have to say this, but don't even bother experimenting with any performance supplements if your diet and training are not already on point. As I mentioned at the start, I made this video to simply share new research that I found interesting uh, that might prove beneficial. This is not an endorsement of Luxogenin or a specific Luxogenin product, so please don't get me wrong. If anything, I hope this video will inspire folks to eat a lot more veggies. Ah, uh, Christ, I shouldn't even have to say that. But, as dumb as this will sound, carnivores seem adamantly against eating veggies, going by comments I had received in my last video. Literally, what in the living fuck? Performance enhancement aside, brisinosteroids do show uh, possible health benefits, so even if you don't get an anabolic effect, you may uh, benefit in some other capacity. Like fighting prostate cancer, fighting breast cancer, preventing metastatic cancers, and combating viruses like herpes simplex type 1 and measles. As always, all of my references are linked over at my blog, which is linked down in the description below. Anyway, stir up discussion in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, uh, press that bell button for notifications, and to check back weekly, typically by Friday mornings. All three avenues will help ensure that you don't miss new content from me. Also, consider becoming a patron for as little as $2 a month, where you will gain access to up to four exclusive Q&As per month. I've linked to my patron in the description below. You can also show your support by picking up one of my ebooks, uh, by using my affiliate links, or by picking up some bulk vegan protein over at True Nutrition and using my affiliate code VEGNUT5 at checkout, all of which are linked below. Thank you all for your continued support. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.